Hi there and welcome again to the Pilot Aware video channel. In this video we're going to show you how to get the most from your Pilot Aware by considering the traffic page. The traffic page is where Pilot Aware stores all information on traffic received on a continuous basis. In normal use you don't need to go to the traffic page but it's always useful if you want to find out more information of what's going on inside Pilot Aware. To get to the traffic page, log on to your Wi-Fi hotspot and type in 192.168.1.1 and navigate your way to the traffic page. Once on the traffic page, you'll see something like this. An interesting array of columns and rows with lots of exciting figures in. But don't worry, it might look confusing, but we'll show you what it all means. So that you can be confident that everything is working okay, the first things that we show you are the date and the time. Next up is the latitude and longitude, followed by the altitude, then the track, and finally the speed at which you're flying at that particular moment. In the main body of text, each row is an individual aircraft. So let's have a look at what each column means by considering row three. Column one is the hex ID code. This is the ICAO code of the aircraft. The second column gives you the registration number. The third column tells you what mode of transmission is being received. C means it's a mode C transmission. CS means it's a mode S transmission. And CSA means it's an ADSB transmission. You will come across two other identifiers. These being P for pilot aware and F for FLAM. The next column shows any squawk code that is being transmitted. Mode C transmissions don't give out a squawk code, so here we just put in the number of times we received that individual transmission. If the aircraft is transmitting GPS coordinates, that is pilot aware, FLAM or ADSB, the next column will show the distance that the aircraft is away from your aircraft. The next column shows you the altitude of the aircraft and whether it's going up or down. Column 7 shows the relative bearing of aircraft to you. This of course will only work for aircraft that are transmitting GPS coordinates. The next column gives the signal strength of any aircraft transmitting on 1090 MHz. The ADSB status column shows the status of any ADSB signals that are received. Freeze this frame to show what this means. The last column shows the aircraft and its owner. Pilot Aware has a database that matches all ICAO codes with their owner. But don't worry, if it's a GA aircraft, you'll just come up as a private owner. Well, that's all we have for you in this video on the traffic page. I hope you've enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you again. Oh, and by the way, if you like it, give us a thumbs up sign and let us know. 